Hey, if you're new to LumaFusion and you want to create some video projects that are going to end up on your Instagram feed, maybe your Instagram stories, TikTok or other social networks, in this video I'm going to show you the best project settings so you can get your projects right within LumaFusion. So let's jump into the iPad. Okay, so we're now inside LumaFusion and what you need to do, if this is the first time, I'll, I'll run through how you set up a project. All you need to do is click the little icon here at the bottom with the plus icon and then we're going to name a project. I'm going to call this social media like so. And then for frame rate, you want to make this the frame rate of the country you're in and the lowest frame rate. So um, as I'm in the UK, it's 25 frames a second. You can, of course, select 24. 24 is if you're in the US or Canada, somewhere like that. Um, so I'm going to select 25 frames a second. Now, the frame aspect, this is the most important part because this is where you're going to create the project specifically for your social media platform. You see, uh, 16 by 9 is probably what you're familiar with, and this is um, the, the standard landscape mode that you'll see for things like YouTube. Now, there is portrait mode here as well, which is really great, but LumaFusion does also have some options for creating um, square down here. So if you want to create a video specifically for your Instagram feed, or maybe your Twitter or Facebook feed. That's the great one to choose. It also has Instagram portrait. Now, don't get this confused with Instagram stories, but this is great if you want to maximize the amount of space you're using on your Instagram feed with a portrait based video. And that's really, really good. But in this video, I'll show you the example in portrait and uh, the color space. I'm going to keep that on based on the uh, first video clip selected, and then we're going to hit plus. So, I'm going to uh, have a look for a couple of videos here. So let's look. So I've recently actually just purchased a Tesla. So I'm currently doing a review on the car. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description to my uh, personal channel where you can see that. And uh, essentially what I'm going to do, I've got a couple of clips here where we're maybe looking around the car and you'll see that um, it's a 16 by 9 shot. Now you can see I've already marked in and out points here. So if I'm happy with that and I send this down to the timeline, what you'll see happens is that it plays back in a portrait mode, which is really, really cool. Now, one problem you may have, let me just pull the audio down. One problem you'll have is you can see the Tesla logo there is completely out of shot. So what we want to do, I'm just going to quickly lower the volume of this so you don't hear the background. And what we need to do is go to frame and fit here on the left hand side. You can also get that with your handy editor's keys keyboard shortcut. And then what you can do is you can either use the position sliders here or you can simply click and drag. Just make sure that it's still within the, the top and bottom realms there at the top. And then if we just play this through, you can see we now have the Tesla logo center of frame, which is really good. Now, I've also filmed this at 50 frames a second, and I'd recommend doing this for your Instagram stories uh, or if your TikTok as well, if you're trying to do something a little bit more cinematic. And then when we play that back, you'll see it's nice and smooth. It takes out some of those jitters and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to just make this a little bit shorter. So let's say we want to start there. I'm just going to put a little chop in right there. Let's delete that. Let's just play this through. Maybe like three of one, two, three, four. I'm happy with that there. And then let's just chop the end of this off. And uh, what we're going to do is the same. Let's grab this little shot here of the steering wheel. Let's put that in. And let's see what we have here. I'm just going to drag the audio down again because I had uh, my music on in the car, so I don't want to blast you with that. And if we play through this, let's go to frame and fit. If we play that through again, you can see it doesn't look quite right. Okay, so we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm just going to do this by hand, move it across, pull it down a little bit. And then if we play this through, boom, we've got a nice little shot. And again, I filmed this in 50 frames per second. So I'm going to drag this down whoop, just to that line there. And uh, if we play these two clips through here, you should, it should start looking really nice. And, uh, you know, with a little bit of music, you could upload this to your Instagram story or maybe a TikTok uh, video, something like that. But I'm also going to show you another tip here. And this is if you want to get some really creative, free animated graphics or titles. So a little app I like to use is called Canva. So I'm going to switch over to Canva. 
And it's actually free as well. So it's a great free way of getting some animations. Now, most people will use this to create a thumbnail, but you can actually use it to create some animations. So I'm going to create a design here from scratch and let's do a Instagram story. Let's let that load up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little trick here. This is how you can get the animations across to LumaFusion. So we're going to make the background solid black. Okay. And I'm just going to do this quickly so you can see. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in, first of all, an element. Let's just maybe bring in a triangle here. Just click that. I'm going to keep it on white. You can, of course, change the color. Let's bring another triangle in here. And uh, let's drag that up to the top there. So let's rotate it around and drag that to the top. Okay, we're happy with that. Let's just maybe change the color of that one. We'll make that orange for a bit of Editor's Keys branding. And then what we're going to do is just very quickly add some text. So I'm going to add in, you can choose any of these. Um, and these are all free, as you can see, it says free at the top there. So I'm going to just, let's just maybe pick this one here. I'm going to go in and just delete this and oop, select all of that and just put Tesla and then down here. Whoops. Oh, quacky. Sorry. Keep doing this. And then put my review. Okay. So we're pretty happy with that. But as you can see, it doesn't animate and it's not see-through. So there's something you need to do first. And that's up at the top here. You click this little animate icon. So if we tick that, what uh, Canva can actually do, and a lot of people don't realize this, is it can create an animation. So we can have this one here where it slides on. We can have a breathe. We can have a fade. We can have a pan, which looks quite cool. And you can just play around with some of these. This one is a paid one. So I don't pay for Canva. I just use the free. And this is what I'll use a lot of the times for our Instagram stories. So I'm going to cancel that off. You've got tumble there. Boom. I quite like that one. Let's use that. And let's make the animation maybe a little bit longer. Let's maybe make it eight seconds. And then let's play that through. Give it a little preview. Boom. I like that. That looks really nice. So I'm happy with that. So this is what you need to do next. We're going to click save. We're going to download that as an mp4 let's let it do its thing and then i'll show you what you need to do within LumaFusion. so i'm just going to save that video to my camera roll and then let's go back to LumaFusion. okay so we're going to import this video clip here i'm just going to drag the entire clip onto the timeline here now if we play that back you can see the animation is in but of course it's way too long so first of all let's drag that across and then the other issue we have is that you can't see through it. So all you need to do is make sure you've got this one selected, go into your clip, and then we are gonna go into frame and fit. And then we're gonna go down to blending here. And then all you need to do is select screen. And this is where the magic happens. Boom. Okay, so now if we go back to the timeline, if I hit play, you should see a nice little video coming together and a little animation too. There we go. Now, how does that look? You can imagine there, if you put two or three more clips on the end of that, maybe change the graphics a little bit, you would have a really nice TikTok video or Instagram story. So there we go. It's pretty easy when you know how. Now, I definitely recommend making a note of those numbers in your Apple Notes section on your iPad or your iPhone, just so you have them for the future. So let me know if that's helped in the comments section below. And if you are new to LumaFusion, we have a ton of videos all about LumaFusion that you can view just by clicking up here. And if you want to be notified of our next LumaFusion tutorial, just make sure that when you subscribe, you hit that little notification bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.